Alrighty. Hey, we're back here at Beamer Sun Garage. We're gonna have a little educational video for you guys today. Uh on on Ford Mustangs and we you know how you can buy an affordable uh hot rod for cheap. And there's my dog Forrest over there. He's making himself known. What up, Forrest? What up, baby? <laughs> He's chewing on something. What up, baby? What's my baby doing? Well, what's my baby doing? You know, your more expensive uh, muscle cars, you know, in the you know the Ford breed, is like your Mach One. Um, you know, your fastback Mustang, like uh, well, like Eleanor here. Uh, those are more expensive, uh, you know, versions of the Mustang. There's a '72 Mach we call the Green Mach around here. And but the, the Mach ones are, you know, more expensive. Your fastbacks are going to cost you a little bit more um, than your average, you know, Mustang. I'm referring to like a '65, '66 Coupe. Those are going to be your. Just get a sticker in the play with here. Here we go. Here, baby. We get a sticker, Daddy. Bring it over here. That's a smart dog. Look at that dog. <laughs> you should have called him Scooby. He gets so excited. Give me the stick. Well, give me the stick, baby. Well, give me the stick. Okay. Now you go get the stick for daddy. Go get it. That's a playful dog there. But this is, uh, you know, this is what you're looking at. If you're, if you're looking for a muscle car, you know, um, you know, the expensive line, you know, Mach 1 would be would be my choice, you know. And it does have identification codes on. This is a real Mach. And, uh, you know, the VIN number, the VIN tag down here, you got 9 would be your first digit there for the year model 9, of course. And then uh, 1, 2, 3, you got an H code for engine. That's at 351 two barrel so this was a 351 two barrel car and then you got all these other codes here for the rear end and uh the transmission in it and everything uh it's a c through 63 c body style it means it's a fastback but this is uh you know this is one of my babies i've owned this car since 1982 and there she is right there she's got uh 124,000 on it now yeah 124,000. The engine's been overhauled. Uh, four speed's been redone. That's a new uh, console I just put in there. You can see how much different color the blackness is. There's the old steering wheel cover or uh, center. There's a new one for him we'd be putting in it. So I've got some parts for it. You know, we're going to fix this old car up. You know, uh, there's the Windsor in it. Uh, there's the points distributor sitting off to the side and then we got an EGI we're putting in it so we're upgrading it um this car used to belong to a uh, a fireman um and he ran fire runs in this car so he got there in a hurry uh when he wanted to go where he was going but these are your more expensive you know uh, models you know your fastbacks uh and your in your mock ones but now if you want to get an affordable mustang muscle car I got the ticket for you. Not mine's for sale, no, but you can find these from anywhere between a couple thousand bucks up to, you know, up to 10,000. Depends on how much you want to spend. <coughs> There's a 65 over here. It's being, right now, it's, it's being covered up by kittens because I got it opened up and they're over there checking it out. Uh, the gray ones just got out of it. And there's JoJo over there checking it out. But these are your affordable ones here. It's a 60, 65 uh, Mustang. And, and, you know, these, these are affordable cars. You know, these cars here, this car here, we we got it for a song. I think we gave 500 bucks for it. And it belonged to an old, old lady. Uh, she died. Uh, it was Rick Wildriff, Wildriff's uh, grandmother. And then he got the car, and we bought it for him. So that's how we got the car. But... I was talking about uh, serial numbers, uh, and there's codes on all car parts, okay? Let's just dig right into it, okay? Here's a, a convertible top piece, and it says C4, okay? 
Now I'm going to educate you guys. The C is a 60 model year, okay? The 4 is the year of the car. So this is for a 64 Mustang. Uh, this was a convertible. This was the latch mechanism to uh, latch the top down. These are just some spare parts that I, you know, collected over the years. And that basically gives you... Now, here we go. Here's another part here. This is a headlight bucket. Uh, actually, it's a headlight extension that goes on the end of a fender. Okay, for a 65, 64, 66. Any one of those years it could be. Okay, so what is it? Let's see here. Okay, you see C4ZB. Okay, there again. The C stands for 60. The 4 is for 64. That means this was made in 1964. And this would go on a 64, 65, or a 66 Mustang. They're all the same. Okay, now here's a uh, here's a door handle. And inside the door handle, there'll be a numbers inside the door handle. Okay, so there you're going to see C3. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you're right there. It's the top of it, C3. There again, the C is for 60. The 3 is a 63 this is a 63 door handle for probably a ford uh possibly fairlane galaxy something like that okay, here we go again this is a uh, actual mirror bracket and we have here we go we have there it is c4 1964 the c is for 60 the four is for the year so 1964 this is convertible again now here we got some door handles uh these are earlier models uh because you can see it doesn't have a screw here this is kind of like a general motors product it has a little clip but it'll have the number on it again and there it is and we got again c for the year 60s four for the actual year so it's a 60 60 series part and it says four it's just 64. This came off a 64 Mustang. That's what that came off of. Now, a 65, which is this what this is here, is a little different. The 65, it looks identical except for the handle, the knob there. The knob's a little different, thicker. And there's a screw that puts it together right there. So that's a 65. You can see the difference. There's no hole in this one. And there is here, and your knobs are different size. So that's a 65. And also here again, here's a door handle. This is a 65. It's got the screw in it. Right there. That's a 65. So 64, 65, there is some differences uh, when, when you're talking about, like, door handles and stuff. <clears throat> and there's your differences. And that's a 64. It's the same handle. It's this identical handle. It's even got a little clip on it right there. You can see the body clip right there. It's, it's on it. And here's one missing the clip. Nope, that's got the clip too. Clip's there. But these here are missing. You can see there's no body clip on that one. There's no handle clip. And this one here has the clip. And these are both 64s. Okay, now also, there's a difference in, you know, all your gas caps and... All kinds of stuff that you know you have now here is uh, this is a pony one here this tails missing on this pony this is a gas cap and this is off a of 65 or it could be 66 unfortunately I don't see a number on this one four didn't stamp a number in that so there's 65 now you can see it's got a, a different cap here that I put on the car it didn't have them when we got it this is off a of 70 Mustang could be a coupe um, could be a fastback, and there's no numbers on it either. Now here we have a quarter cap that goes on the quarter panel. Okay, and inside here there'll be some numbers. And we see... We see some numbers, but we're not driving with any of that. There's a Ford stamp right there. There's a the Ford stamp. And there's some numbers there. Uh, we know it's a 64, 5, or 6 quarter cap because it's identical to this one. But it doesn't actually tell us. But Okay, we go over here to these uh, taillight uh, trim rings. 
and you, know, you see on the back there here's one here that's off and we'll flip this over and we got here we go in here there we go we got c 4 zb there again we go with 60 the c for 60 years and you know c is for 60s so it could be 61 60 all the way to 69 okay and then the four is for the year 64 and that's how you tell your part numbers on your Ford parts so if you get a Ford part it says D uh, say it says D3 now D is going to be for 70s for 1970 vehicles could be 70 to all the way to 79 that's the D okay so you go from you go from that uh, it's going to be 70 you know 5 if it says D5 that's, that's 75 and it's you know the 60 stuff is going to be C and we're going to see one over here We've got a bumper over here that came off a Ford product, and it's still got the Ford tag on it. There it is. Here's the Ford tag. And you're going to see a C9. That's for a 69 Mustang. That's a 69 Mustang rear bumper is what that's for now. It don't tell you fast back or coupe. They're the same bumpers. Okay. So you got a 69 bumper here. This is an actual Ford bumper. It even still you can see where it says Ford on it right there. And C9. So that's a 69 rear bumper for like the Mach 1. Right, it would fit on a, I think it's the same as the 72. The 69 70. Now this one here doesn't have anything on it. Well it does have something, but it's just unreadable. That's a I think that's a reproduction bumper. That bumper's been, re, re, you know, reproduction stuff. So. Those are, you know, some of the numbers that if you're going to get into these old Fords, you need to learn, you know, about. And I was taught by some old people that taught me, you know, the tricks to trade. And there's our Grand Prix sitting here <laughs> with a broken brake line. It's got a analog uh, system on it. And the brake line somewhere down in that mess down there somewhere. I got a line leaking down there. So yeah, I, I got my hands full of that. I got to fix that line. But those are some of the tricks and trades of the Ford parts. Uh, here's a fender over here. It came off a Ford truck. And I don't know if it's going to have a number on it. But we're going to look. There's some kind of numbers right there. And I can't pick it up what it is. This fender here is probably an 86 fender. There's some numbers right there. It would tell us right underneath of that. There's some numbers right there. It's underneath that plate. That would tell us. You can see a 7TB. It's probably 87. It would be, uh, it'd probably be E, C, yeah, A, B, C, D, E. So it's going to be E7. So 80 models are going to be E and then whatever the number of the year it is. You know, Dodge didn't do anything like that. Um, you know, Plymouth didn't do it either. <laughs> you know, um, so our Plymouth Roadrunner is not going to have any numbers that I can read. And uh, our, our Dodge and our, you know, our Oldsmobile, I don't think so. Uh, there's there's ways of telling, but only the Oldsmobile people know on those numbers on them. But your Ford part numbers and your Fords, I know quite a bit about. Um, but, I mean, you know... If you want a muscle car, save your money and buy one. Don't go buy something that you're not going to be happy with. You know, if you got your heart set on a 57 Chevy, save your money, buy your 57 Chevy. Don't just buy whatever you can get a hold of uh, because you don't have the money. You know, if you got your heart set on a, you know, a fastback Mach 1, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, they're expensive. Uh, you can find them still cheap that are, you know, like completely gutted, tore apart. You're going to have to put together kind of like a, like a model kit. But, you know, you could do it, okay? You put your mind to it. You can do it. I've done it. Um, you can, you know, maybe luck in and find a parts car for it uh, and put it together, you know. I got one up over the hill over there. Uh, Christine over there, I talk about her all the time. Christine was a basket case when I got her. Uh, the guy that towed it for me, I didn't have a tow truck back in those days. He said, you, you just bought a car you'll never fix. Well, I fixed it in one month. But I had a parts car. So I had a complete car sitting with all the parts I needed 
to put Christine together. So that's what I did. But here we got a 69 LTD here, uh, not an original three, uh, 390 car, uh, not anymore. And here we got, on the bin number, we got a nine. So that makes the first year of it, it's a 69. And then there's some other numbers, 65A is a body. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, six. you got a Y there. Is the, is the engine code that's a 390 this was a 390 car and so that's how I can tell what this was uh, it's even easier with this car because it says right on, the, right on there 390 <laughs> that was easy but there's no 390 underneath it anymore that's a 460 and there's some numbers on that too um, I believe that's a 73 uh, truck engine that's in that is in that car I don't believe it's a car engine. I was told it was a truck engine. I never ran the numbers, but there's some numbers on the intake, and there's some other numbers that you can follow that same criteria and look for the C, and then the number, that'll tell you it's a 60, say it says C6, that'll tell you it's a 66 motor. Uh, and on, on, and on, and on. It could be a 7, and it'd be a 67, it could be a, you know, 8, be 68, and on. And same thing with the, with the letter D. Now, D means 70 models. So if you got a D3... That would be a 73, okay? And that's how it works. And that's what we got today here at Beamer Sun Garage. We got some uh, educational uh, tips for you guys. I hope you learned something. Uh, we haven't been on for a while. Um, haven't been feeling the best. But we're back and uh, hope to be here a long time with you guys here at YouTube. And uh, all my fans out there, we appreciate you, my subscribers. Uh, we got 357 subscribers, and we appreciate every one of you. And uh, please like, tag, and share, and subscribe. And, you know, tell your friends, tell your family about us at Beamer and Sun Garage. And we'll see you next time. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have some more fun uh, on our next video. And uh, we appreciate you. And don't forget, it's Beamer and Sun Garage forever, and the rest never. We'll see you next time here at Beamer and Sun Garage. You guys have a good one.